Hello everyone, welcome back to another video now, like okay, but you'll get me anyways. Today we're gonna be playing the uh the beginner's guide. I think it's supposed to be a spin-off of Stanley Parable. I think it's made by the same guy. I think I played it before if I remember correctly, but I don't remember anything about it, so we're gonna play it again. Uh if y'all like it, I'll finish it because I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish it in one episode. Hi there. Uh -huh. Thank you very much for playing the beginner's guide. Yeah, my you're name welcome. is Davy Reedon. I wrote the Stanley Parable. See, and while you. that game tells a pretty absurd story, yeah. today I'm going to tell you about a series of events that happened between 2008 and 2011. There you go. We're going to look at the games made by a friend of mine named Coda. Coda. Now these games mean a lot to me. Uh, I met Coda in early 2009 at a time when I was really struggling with some personal stuff. And his work pointed me in a very powerful direction. I found it to be a good reference point for the kinds of creative works that I wanted to make. So just to start you off, this is, I think, the first game he ever made. It's a level for Counter-Strike. You oh. can walk around here, by the way. And uh, mostly it's you. just Coda learning the basics of building a 3D environment. But what I like is that even though he starts from the simple aesthetic of a desert town, he then scatters these colorful abstract blobs and impossible floating crates around the level. Yeah. And of course, it destroys mm. the illusion that this actually is a desert town, and instead this level becomes a kind of calling card from its creator. It's like a reminder that this video game was constructed by a real person. And it kind of makes you wonder, what was going mm. through his head as he was building this? This is what I like about all of Coda's games. Experimentation. I mean, not that they're all fascinating as games, but that they are all going to give us access to their creator. I want us to see past the games themselves. I want to get to know who this human being really is. And that's exactly what we're going to do here. Ooh. So, it's 2008, exactly Coda do. starts making these games, and he never releases any of them. He doesn't put them onto the internet, he just makes them and then immediately abandons them and they sit on his computer forever. Me. And I think he really understood this image of himself as a recluse. Uh, at one point, he jokingly renamed his computer's recycling bin to Important Games Folder. So, you know, this was just how he worked. He tended to crank them out one after the other without even really pausing to try to understand what he had just made. Until suddenly one day, he just stopped. In 2011, that was it. He made his last game and then he hasn't made another one since. And that's why I've taken this opportunity to gather all of his work together. It's because I find his games powerful and interesting, and I'd like this collection to reach him, to maybe encourage him to start creating again. And if the people like you who play this also happen to find his work interesting, then I'm sure it'll just send that much stronger of a message of encouragement to Coda. So thanks for joining me on this. If you have a particular interpretation that I haven't mentioned here, or if you just need to get in touch, you can email me at d-a-v-e-y-w-r-e-d-e-n at gmail.com. Okay, that's about it for introduction. Let's take a look at Coda's first proper game. As each go. game is loading, I'll show you the date that it was completed. This first one was made in November 2008. All right. So, this is mostly a lot of him talking, um, sadly, it won't be a whole lot of me talking, but I'll squeeze in my talking as I can, you know, as you're supposed to do, and nice, infinitely white room. Let's go. Oh, from the top, ooh. Okay. Um, this game is called Escape from Whisper, and it's one of the more generic the light games path. you'll see from Coda. Nope, can't go down the light path. Light path, no go. Go down the non light path. Proper way to go. I can't you aim. Can to I can shoot. Down. Yeah. No flashlights. Oh, well, Security he does a pretty good job of giving me light. Hostile alien life forms. Hostile alien life forms? What? It kind of looks like this game was abandoned mid development. Yeah, clearly. For instance, you have this gun, which you'd think would indicate that there are supposed to be monsters or enemies somewhere. It does not. But then clearly there are no enemies anywhere. Yep. You can't even reload the gun when you run out of bullets. Oh. But ultimately we don't really know. Maybe Coda thought that actually it was complete the way that it is. And I think that we should talk about his games for what they are, rather than for what they're not. Enemy force neutralized. Begin to shoot it out so I could just waste all my ammo. You can see the bottom of the universe from this room. 
Okay. That's a very odd detail to point out. It's a very generic boxed in universe. I like the blues over there. Where am I supposed to go? Oh, I can shoot with E. That's good to know. Oh. Doors actually open, guys. Whoa, I didn't know if you walk to a door, it opens like a door. A lot of twists and turns. Apparently, the space station has a labyrinth on it. I... Uh, sure, I don't know. Yeah. There's really no reason for it that I've ever been able to discern, so in the interest of time, I'm just gonna skip you on past it. Aw, what? But that gets rid of the puzzle. Okay, that this takes is the, the fun out of interesting. it. The game really? has this narrative about the whisper machine and how it has to be turned off, Can't see and then you get to the engine room. Hmm. Engine room, let's go. Hey, you there, in the engine room. You could save us all. That beam is powering the whisper machine. We could disrupt it by introducing a great enough heat signature. If what, you, me? Your body could stop the beam. Yep. Sacrifice. So ask, but for all of our lives, sacrifice. Would you sacrifice. Do it? Sacrifice. 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 Oh yes, I can. Jump in and leave. Okay. Well, um, I immediately turned sideways and died. Second. Huh. What you just experienced, stepping into the beam and then dying, is probably what Coda had initially intended when he was developing this level. But when he first compiles and plays it, something goes wrong. There's a bug somewhere, and this is what happens instead. Okay. Oh. I am God himself. <laughs> no. Oh, well, the that's beam a... causes you to start floating. So you'd go out. Oh, and this is an important moment for him. Because yes, in, this is technically oval. a glitch, but Coda identifies oh, okay. something that human puzzle. about it. Like how small it makes you feel in the face of this larger chaotic system. Or this floating could be the afterlife, a peaceful place, juxtaposed against all of the hysteria that you've just had to traverse. I, I don't even hysteria, know. Uh, but... I have no idea what he was thinking, but what's clear is that after making this, something lodges itself in his brain. He wants to do more of these really weird and experimental designs. Cool. So he stops work on this and moves on to a stream of tiny little games that go in all sorts of directions. Let's go ahead and take a look at the first game he made after leaving this one behind. Sorry about background noise. College. People love to have their engines. It's really annoying to sleep. Those of you who are in college understand. Those of you who are not in college just know it's annoying. The past was behind though. Well, maybe I want to chase my past. I can't walk, I can jump. Oh. Yep. In this game, you can only walk backwards. Oh. Okay. Sound like the track is also in behind, but the so future it's a short be and relatively minimalist experiment combining motion and narrative. And does it is less advanced changing? than the previous game, but actually, it seems to be more focused, more complete. Code is trying to give it a unique voice rather cool, than simply basing it on a pre-existing trope. Hmm. Now the scenery is changing, but if the future is always behind all. How will she find the string? To confront it. It's a short little thought, it says what it wants to say, and then it ends. Didn't need anything more than that. Which to me, is why it works. Because it gets out quick. Okay, next one. Yeah. Can't always be looking behind you. Ooh. Oh. Darkness. Oh, you are now entering. What am I entering? Besides the darkness. Oh, well. And that's it. I entered the okay, darkness. The meaning of this game won't be clear just yet. Please be patient with me for a few more games, and I promise you'll see what makes it interesting. I mean, if you say so. I don't know. I'm kind of skeptical. Just a little bit. Oftentimes, Koda would put bizarre titles like this one at the start of his games. Nonsense is in every direction. And then I'm over here. I wish I'd known him at the time that he was making these early games. He would really only talk to me about his work as he was making it. Once he stopped work on a game, like, that was it. It was dead to him. And I don't agree with ouch. that at all, but what are you gonna do? <laughs> I mean, I agree, but ouch. 
It's been, oh no. Yep. Once you've been slowed to an absolute crawl, the door at the top of the stairs opens. So why, if code is not showing these games to anyone, why bother opening the door at all? Well, to show you, I'm modifying the game here so that when you press enter, it'll bring you back up to full speed so you can enter the door for yourself. No. I don't want to. If this is how I originally programmed the game for it to be a slow call, I want to go through it. No, I'm joking. Y'all don't want to see that. Oh, pencil. Whoops. Y'all don't want to see that. I would actually do it, though, but... You walk around talking to people from pursuing their hopes and dreams. A key in one game unlocks a door in a completely separate game. You're a queen dusting your jewelry while your kingdom is destroyed. A button you press to stop the chaos that doesn't work. You are a gate. A game a is nothing but giant blocks of text explaining what's nice. happening. You start in a small room until you realize you can just walk through the walls. A stranger appeals. Live in a boat taking orders from the captain. The captain is always your own. You can shock the wall and the wall is destroyed. You're given a medal. He didn't mind if people thought of him as cold or distant. Sharks are trying to eat some things, but you're trying to eat the sharks. He was actually a vibrant and compassionate person, Game but that it takes chase, time to really see that. Floating. It can be a very slow climb to get there. Play one after another while the player cannot move. You run into a shop inside your own body, selling your organs strategically to make the most money before you die. <laughs> that actually sounds like a lot of fun. I like that. I like those ideas. Tell me if y'all would love to see any of those games. Ready, set, forced. I'll finish. I don't. I didn't read it. Whoops. Oh well. We got nice generic designs. I love generic designs. The woods kind of off-putting. From all this concrete and orange. Well, oh. this is new for Coda. Yep, it's an actual back. puzzle. Go ahead and see if you can solve it. Yeah, I, I... Don't forget that solution, because we're going to see this puzzle again soon. We're gonna see it a lot. Okay, well, I think I just entered into a new realm. That's a weird darkness right there. Lump of wood. See, now this is a lot prettier. I like this. It's like a modern-styled house, and they can't walk again. Well, I can't walk back up into a new, more wooden room. Wait, I assume so that seems to be a it, right? You walk down a corridor, you solve the puzzle, you get to the end. Simple enough. Yeah. All right. Now I'm going to modify the game again. Oh so that God. When you press Enter. It'll remove all of the walls from this room. <sighs> oh. I forgot about this. So that's what I have for now. How about that? There was more to it than we had any way of knowing. I actually find it funny that this game comes after the stairs game, since they essentially convey the opposite idea. So, uh, in the stairs game, a dull exterior concealed a rich interior. And then, in this level, a dull interior hides this fantastic outer world. Right? Either way, I think the Whoa. point is the same. Is that most of the time, you don't get to know what you're missing. Or even that you're missing anything. That's not your role as a player. So if your role here is not to understand, then what is it? I guess the point of the game, to find out. Find your own meaning. So, yep, you're now entering. Aha! So, this, oh, you're now combined exiting. with the entering okay. game from earlier, tells us that Coda believes his games are connected somehow. It could even be that the stairs game and the puzzle game are literally connected in between this and the entering game. There's That's a cool. bigger picture that all of his games are meant to play a role in, some larger meaning that we won't be able to grasp until we've seen all of them. And once we have, we can step back and start to understand what exactly that bigger picture is. Preach it. <laughs> I don't know, but it doesn't mean everything. It's just a matter of how deep do you want to look. Do you want to look at the surface level and this desk is just a desk? Or do you want to look at it as this desk is what popped up my life? If you want to equate my technology to my life, because I spend so much time on it. I don't know. There's more to it. There's always more. But let's walk towards this, what seems to be a small house that slowly gets bigger. You know, the effect of eyes. Let's talk eyes. about video game development for a second. 
Every video game runs on what's called an engine, which determines what the game can and cannot do. Yep. So in other words, the engine is a set of tools for game development. Yeah. Why to make you... all of these games, Coda is Why? using an engine called Source. Like oh, all engines, cool. yeah. Source has certain things that it does well, and it has certain things that it does poorly. Yeah. One of the things that it does very well is boxy linear corridors. That's why so many of Coda's games are set in these large, flat, empty rooms, is just because he's working with what the engine does well. Which makes the sense. The tools available to the creator shape what kinds of creative work they're going to end up making. Gotta you might consider hardcore, paying hardcore, attention right to the architecture in Coda's games to notice how they seem to stem from an engine that's very good at producing ha, no fall linear damage. boxy corridors. Oh boy. Oh. Haha. <laughs> I didn't even have to do hardcore parkour at all. I'm just good like that, guys. <laughs> yeah, I know that makes no sense. I don't know what I'm doing here. Oh, well, I can't go inside the door. Only the press the weird white button. Ooh, shiny bright lights. Shiny bright lights. A lot more concrete and what looks to be like cookie balls, but made of concrete. <laughs> Oh, well, at least I have a straight path. That's always nice of them. Oh, well, I can't go back. Trapped in here forever. Oh no, I can't climb a couple of. Oh. I don't know what's going on. Why was I into my own cell? Oh, I have to. Okay. This prison. Funny enough, in Coda's original design, the door stayed shut for a full hour before letting you go. If you don't mind, I think we're gonna skip that. Yeah, I agree. This is something that he and I used to argue about a lot. You know, whether a game ought to actually be playable, whether it means anything if no one can get through it. And I would always defend that, you know, all this work goes into the game, why not make it playable and accessible? And so we just got into heated arguments over it, and there was one time that after one of these conversations, he went home, and a day or two later, he sent me a zip file entitled Playable Games that was full of hundreds of individual games, each of which was just an empty box that you walked around in and nothing else. Believe me, I played every single one of those just to find out if there was like a gag hidden somewhere. There wasn't. I mean, did you have any fun out of it? That's the point of a playable game. A game can be nothing as long as it's fun. It's the puzzle again, with the exact same solution as the last time. There's still no clear indication of what makes this puzzle so special that Coda is going to return to it over and over. But I promise I'll share with you my interpretation very shortly. <laughs> my interpretation is the gateway. It's you entering something new. Maybe getting rid of something old, finding out something new. Kind of like my epiphany last night. That could have been shown as me going through a gate, through a small puzzle. You there, did you come from above? Here, what was up there? begins using a kind of dialogue system that he fashioned out of the engine's chat capabilities. Use the one, two, three buttons on your keyboard to respond. Yes, there was a ward stamped within whiteness. Yes, there is an enormous prison I've spent hours in. Yes, there were these floating colored blocks. I'm gonna go with the ward stamped with whiteness. That's the ward above, you've been there. <gasps> now, this is the point. Do you have to get through a puzzle with two doors and switches? Yes, I did. That was literally the last thing I did before coming here. No, I don't remember having to go through any puzzle. I prefer not to tell you after all, I've only just met. No, I'm an honest and nice guy. Yeah, I went through the puzzle. Yeah. Again, perfect. Now, tell us. How you solved it? Tell us the solution. Tell us how to get to the other side. I don't remember how I solved it. I'm trying to remember, but I can't. I didn't solve it. Someone else let me in. Trust me, you don't want to go over there. Trust me, you don't want to go over there? I don't know, but I do. We do. We need to get there. Do you understand? It is the most important thing in the world. We have to escape this prison. There must be an ending. I promise you, there is nothing I want more. And what an ending? 
just a way to escape. No one likes to be locked up and kept in the same place. How did you get here? Was the puzzle you had to pass through? No, I've been right here the entire time. What are you talking about? What happens if I solve it? I've already solved it twice. Not sure, but if I have any suspicion in which you find won't be worth what it takes to get there, you'll have another chance to solve it soon. Huh. Alright. Gotta make you think a little bit, you know. Get, get that noggin so up make on one it. last descent down to the final floor of the level. I love having no comments on what I chose for my answer. It's like there's no, oh, you, you should tell them this. No. I think it all ends the same anyways, but... No, oh, yeah. I can't remember what this light pole. It's very symbolic. It's a lamppost. Yep. Okay, I can't tell you quite why, but for some reason, Coda fixates on this lamppost. It's going to appear at the end of every single one of his games from here on out. I'll tell you what Just I the think. Goal. Uh, you reached it. I think the light in his tunnel. Point, you know, he's been making really strange and abstract games with no clear purpose, and maybe you can only float around in that headspace for so long. Because now he wants something to hold on to. He wants a reference point. He wants the work to be leading to something. He wants a destination. Which is what this lamppost is. It's a destination. Boom. We're going to see it in the work as Post well. These games are just going to become a lot more cohesive, a lot more fully developed, with more of a clear idea behind them. And as we go, that idea will get clearer and clearer and clearer. And all it is can just be an epif just the realization about everything. Everything in life follows this track in some way, shape, or form. I mean, maybe not everything. I'm sure there's some examples y'all could think of. I could probably think of if I cared, but it's a beginning and end to most things. And it's just about the travel, the adventure there. Enjoy yourself. This game is connected to it. <laughs> As you walk around, you can leave notes. All notes you see are left by other players. Not really. I think they're all left by him. If I remember correctly, I don't know. Let's read them. Nice room. Not. Oh, that's not very nice. So first off, I'm sure you can deduce this. How do you beat this, this game? This game is not connected to the internet. No All point of the to notes this. that you're gonna see have been written by Coda. Told you. This was actually the first game of his that I ever played. This was shortly after I met him at Whoa, a weekend game shit. jam in Sacramento, where I grew up. Can I saw you guys him working on this very level, and it was just so different from anything that anyone else was doing. Hello? So right away I was like, I have to be friends with this person. Reasonable. In retrospect, I think I was probably the guy over there too pushy, trying to get his much. attention. Uh, Everyone I was over enthusiastic. <laughs> hey. He was very gracious about it and very patient. This with place me. makes me sad. And I Aww. cooled off eventually. I won't. Oh, feel I want free to, tell to skip you over any of these them. notes if they're not doing anything oh, for you. Nothing extra is going to happen if you read all of them. I'm Either the way, Lord. to me they convey a sense of loneliness. Hey, I see this I can person type here. who's filled with thoughts. There are too many messages in this area. Feelings Why? And beliefs and has no way to I express be doing them anything other than playing except this. as scattered and unheard voices in a game that wasn't meant to be played. We're running out of space. Soon we will suffocate. Cool cavern, bro. And in award for notes, it? one man that will read all of them. This summer, you will believe blue speech bubbles can talk. Felt, that we <laughs> Do you feel like a hero yet? And actually kind of connect with this game is no nice, I, I would like it when I could. This idea is really seductive to me. That I could just Do not be play afraid. someone's game okay. and see the voices in their head and, and get to know them better and have to do less of the messy in-person socializing. I just saw I a flying team. Let me tell you, it was the most majestic thing I've ever seen. I don't feel I like living because like nothing will ever be so as majestic much. as that. I don't want to see it like again if nothing connection. else will ever be as beautiful again. I'm crying now. I'm kind of ripping my eyes out. I must now go. World. Must go now to do and then that. I feel less lonely too. Sorry, you have to do every single one of these. Well, it's, it's an introspective game. Let's be introspective. Let's think. Let's talk. Let's enjoy ourselves. Or not enjoy ourselves. I mean. How is the wooden grass and concrete heal? I've been kind of asking that the entire time, but okay. Random gibberish that might mean something. 
What the shit is this cavern? Oh no, I said shit. Boring. It's not boring, it's interesting in its own specific way. I can assure you guarantee that there is an acorn somewhere here in this place and the sailors are looking for it. Okay. Hey guys, just looking for someone to talk with. Trust me, I feel that one completely. I refuse to believe. Believe what? Believe in yourself? Believe in God? Butt ass butt. Okay. I need to go to the frickin' bathroom. I mean, now I'm pretty good. Recognize me, please. You have been recognized. There's nothing here. Go back. Don't listen to that guy. <laughs> he contradicts himself a lot. A free t shirt. Need other side door. Why are you so? Door open how? Open says me. Game makes game includes door. Cannot open door. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Someday I will meet the person who made this. Isn't it yourself? I I help people because of the internal good feeling I get. That one's true. New room. Went to abstract art. Cool. And a lot to it also. Do you guys hear the chimes? They keep going, don't they? I would like very much to be desired. Don't we all? I'm not. It's not very crowded. Oh, yeah. It's not very crowded here. Scared of writing something. Don't want to feel judged. I feel that. A game where you leave notes and suddenly everyone's a poet. E don't bottle. You can go in here, I think. Welcome, congratulations, congratulations. I don't really know where this to go with this. Is this where I get off? I failed to failed to write anything here, but you wrote something. I am compiled, compelled. Stop turn back, proceeding for the one result in misery. Well, let's go. Take my hand. Let's jump together. But I have more bubbles to read. Do you actually want to read all the bubbles? I know, I feel like some of y'all might and some of y'all don't want to. Here, if y'all want to read the bubbles, just get the game yourself and read them. I'm gonna go and jump down. I can't. Okay. I'm not gonna actually read all of them, though. I'll read the ones I come across. What is that painting? Abstract art. It does not matter if you ever get over there. I think I'm not. This is not. I think I'm. This is not going anywhere. That's English, right? Yeah. I need someone to talk to. Yeah, don't we all? Is this a note? Technically, yeah. Don't listen to the other notes. I'm not safe. What is safe, though? What do you classify as safe? Or is anyone ever, actually ever truly safe? Or is it just a figment that we tell ourselves to make ourselves feel better? Well done, all of you. Hmm. But that's a pessimistic way. There's always a, you know, optimistic way of thinking. Maybe I'll feel real someday. Here's hoping. Well, I'm here now. Yay, we're all here now. There must be a reason for it, though. His terrible secret. You kept it well. I beat the game. More room. At the end of this level, we're going Scared to see the puzzle again. Don't want to and judged. here, I'll tell you what I think the puzzle means. Each of these games escape, escape, represents an escape. idea that he was on Coda's mind the at the time that he was making it. Almost and there. the puzzle is I've a way of closing the door seen, on a previous chapter of his life before moving on to the next one. one. I was right. Ha ha. I wish there were notes in the real one. That'd be super nice. Become one with the spiraling nonsense. Ha! <laughs> I've been one. My own spiraling nonsense. I thought downward. Keep In going. each of his games, after exploring a theme that you know he might find difficult, you close your eyes and Cody can then really place bad. this puzzle that he knows has a reliable solution. Almost he understands the exactly how it works, and so it gives him a simple mechanism for moving on. Does this puzzle have a solution? Oh my god! I've been here for an hour without help. Help! This doesn't make any sense. Signal. Shit! How do you solve it? Develop answers, please. And because there's this dark area between the doors, a space between the spaces. Before you move God, on, you get to pause. Back to the start later, guys. Just for a moment. Oh, no, so. A few there's seconds a to reflect place. on and let go of the events that led you here. To step back and connect the pieces together. To grasp at that elusive bigger picture. And there's one note. How do you leave those?
Hi Dale, do you say something? It can be anything, I just need you to say something. Talk to me, please. Why are you having so much difficulty talking? Speak, 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 speak. May to June. I don't know guys. Probably gonna leave this one here. I hope you've been enjoying Porn Soul. Okay, this one is tough. It's gonna kinda just spin its own wheels for a few minutes. Alright guys. I'm in this one here. I hope y'all have enjoyed this video so much. Hope it made you think about something. I don't know. I uh, if, I remember the first time playing this game, it was a lot of fun. It's still a lot of fun the second go around. Uh, it's interesting my thought process now playing this game from like I think I played this like a year or two ago, maybe a little bit longer, maybe thirty or four years, I don't fully remember. Yeah. Oh well and I enjoyed the game then but I think I'm enjoying it a different way now than I was. But there's nothing wrong with that. I'm okay with that. It's it's nice. So I hope you all enjoyed this. Until the next something, whenever that may be. Maybe a game I can actually talk a little bit more. And the narrator loves to talk in this one. But anyways. Bye-bye.